What's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to get a little bit creepy. Have you ever watched one of those YouTube videos where somebody is cooking or doing a cooking tutorial and they're in their kitchen, they're having a good time, they're showing a recipe, showing you how to cook a meal, and you're probably watching that video and you're thinking, man, I'm here for the recipe. And when I'm watching that video, I'm looking at it and saying, man, I wonder if I can identify where that person lives based on just their kitchen. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how that is possible. So before we get started, as always, if you like the channel, please do consider subscribing, hit the like button, you know the drill by now. So a little bit of backstory before we go into this. I had been wanting to make a video on house tours and why a house tour is a really bad idea. Because people show their houses on YouTube all the time. It's like the influencer thing to do. So I asked my wife, I said, hey, do you know of any YouTubers that you watch that have done multiple house tours? Somebody that has done a house tour maybe a few years ago, they got a new house, they did a new house tour. And that way, we can look at the old house, reveal where that person lived without doxing their new location. And she said, yeah, I've, I know a few places, a few people that I watch, and mostly she watches makeup artists. Okay, so... She watches people like Jacqueline Hill, Manny MUA, Jeffree Star, whatever. And she was telling me, well, one time I identified where somebody lived just based on their kitchen. And I said, what? You're an absolute creep and show me how. So this is actually not the TCM method. This is the Mrs. TCM method to finding somebody based on their kitchen. So she follows somebody on YouTube called Jacqueline Hill. Now, a little bit of backstory about Jacqueline Hill. She's a makeup artist. She lives in Florida, but she had something wrong with her house in Florida. So she temporarily moved to Los Angeles. This was a couple of years ago. She's no longer in the house that I'm going to be showing you. But based off of a few little details, we can definitively find the house that she was living in. So a few things. We know that she's very wealthy. We know that she lives in Los Angeles or lived in Los Angeles, and really, that's all we need to know. So let's go ahead and just hop on the computer. We're going to take a look at the way that we can identify this and what characteristics from these YouTube videos we can pull from, and just a little bit of detail can go a long way. Okay, now we're on Jaclyn Hill's page, and I've scrolled down to a couple years ago because this is when this actually happened. And I'm going to show you a few extracurricular steps that we could take. And it's really not a lot of information that we need to gather that we could use to identify the house that she's in. And really, if we were just a really, really average viewer of her channel, like we watched a video or two, we heard that she had moved to Los Angeles, like just watch this one video right here. We could probably put together where she was at regardless. But I'm going to show you how some of these photos that she's posted kind of dangerous, even though on surface value, they're really not too bad. So when we look at this one, she says why I had to move. So she explains her moving and in the video, if you hover over it, she never leaves this room. So she doesn't show the picture of her house or where she's at, just a wall behind her. I think that's fine. However, she does show in the actual image of this footage here, she shows the background of where she's living. So she's sitting in a chair and it's kind of small, but there's a trick that we can do to make this bigger. So I'll put the link in the description below, but there's a website called YT image. You can see it up here. And then you just put the link to the video that you want to see the video ID from YouTube, put it in here, and then you just do the max res default.jpg. I'll put an example uh, down in the description below, but you can see it makes the picture a lot bigger. And if I wanted to like zoom in, I could just control click in. And now I could see a lot more information and details here. So if I didn't know that she was in California or Los Angeles before I sure as heck know now because we are looking at palm trees and really we only see palm trees in a very few locations in the United States typically California I've seen some in Las Vegas we see them in Florida there may be some other locations but really not a lot of locations in the U.S. where palm trees can survive so with that in mind as well we can see in the background here that there are a lot of buildings this is a downtown area and from this, we're not going to get into it. I'm going to show you just some quick details. From this, we can really pinpoint where she lives, okay? We can see 
what side of the building she's on. Okay, we can look that up. We can Google map this, say, okay, where is she at? And then start to kind of correlate this distance between these buildings and where this photo is taken, maybe in correlation to what looks like the mountains here. And perhaps there is water somewhere around this area as well. So you can get a general idea of where she might be. We know a few things about her as well. We know, again, that she is very wealthy. This photo looks like it's taken in a wealthy location. She's wearing Givenchy, which is very nice clothing. So we, we can tell that she's got money. So she's likely going to be in a more expensive location. That narrows me down typically to the Beverly Hills area of California, which is known to be incredibly wealthy. So if we go to a view of downtown from Beverly Hills, I already pulled up the photo, but you can see you can kind of look at pictures from Beverly Hills and you can get on a map and kind of look at it as well if you wanted to. But I was scrolling through and it took me just a little bit to get down here and I saw this photo and I was like, that really looks like the view that she has. Look at these these buildings here. And then if you go back to hers, you can just kind of see the buildings are very, very similar. In fact, they are the same. Uh, this is not her house, but I would not doubt if we clicked into this that we either see her house or we see the builder of her house. I mean, these are very nice houses. Uh, if we go to the outside look of it, it's going to look very similar to where she lives, just scrolling through this very quickly. So you can see the view of Beverly Hills. R remember this photo too with the pool and, and this kind of look in the backdrop behind it. While this isn't the exact house, this gives you a good idea that we're probably in Beverly Hills. Now, she had a video about a year ago and she says, hey, I'm eating crab with my boyfriend. He is a cook or he likes to cook. He has his own cooking channel. So if we click on this link here, we can see that he has a YouTube video. Click on that and you'll get to this cooking crab legs one on one. And we've got a kitchen in the background. That's fine. I'm not even going to get started on this because this is his current kitchen. He geotagged his location as Tampa Bay. If you watch the pop smoke video on OSINT, don't geotag your location. This is very, very bad. OK, so uh, now we know. They were probably living somewhere in Tampa Bay, and we can kind of narrow that down if we wanted to go down that path. So we have him here, click into his channel, go in there, and go to an original video from two years ago, and we get into this. I'm going to mute this so we don't get any audio, but let's just click right here. Okay, so we get the background image. We get his kitchen, and this is all we need. We need something to identify. Imagine from this point right now, we don't know anything about the house. We've only seen that back wall. Now, I'm sure if we watch more of her videos, we could identify more information about her. But from this point, we've only seen the back wall of that room she was in. And we've seen the back wall of this kitchen, which kind of looks similar in the color. And now we're going to take this kitchen. We're going to take a little bit of the information we gathered and we're going to find the house. And again, all we're going to do is go to a website that is like a sales website. We're going to go to Zillow in this instance. And I'm just going to make this bigger. And then I'm going to type in Los Angeles and I'm going to show you why this is wrong really quick. So it already has my filters in here. Um, we're going to pretend that these filters aren't here yet. But if we actually look at Los Angeles, it's kind of gridded interestingly. Now, if we scroll in really close, we can see that actually Beverly Hills is not part of Los Angeles. It's a suburb, but it's its own city. So with that in mind, if we knew that she was in Beverly Hills, then all these houses from Los Angeles that we're looking at are actually not the ones that we want to look at. We're more curious about Beverly Hills or at least this area of town. Now, we did see where her house is located. We kind of saw the general vicinity. If we look at where all the wealthy people live, because I'm sorted by uh, I'll show you what I'm sorted by here in a second, but I'm sorted by wealth. Essentially, you can see it's in this general vicinity here with maybe the exception of something in Los Angeles here. So what I'm going to do instead on Zillow is I'm going to remove this boundary and then I'm going to hit the draw button. I'm going to narrow my location down to just kind of like the Beverly Hills area. And we could just type in Beverly Hills as well. But this should narrow down our results when we apply this. Okay, so now we're down to 84 results from 219. What I did when I went in here is I set this to just houses because she looks like she's living in a house. I have never seen an apartment look that nice with a backdrop. Uh, and I'm looking at sold. Now, if I were truly doing this and trying to find somebody, I would be looking at for sale, for rent, and sold. If she's currently living there, in this instance, she rented this house, by the way. Uh, but if I was looking for where somebody was living, I would look at the for rent or sold to see historical locations of where people could be living. Now, we go into here, and I set a couple of settings in here. First of all, I set the square feet very, very, very large. 
if she's living in as big of a house as I think she is, I'm setting it to 7,500 square feet or bigger. We're thinking Beverly Hills. We're thinking mansion. We're thinking glamour, a very rich. We're also thinking she's got a nice view. She's got a view of the city. So we should check that. She does have a view of the mountain too. We could check that, see if that narrows down. I haven't tried that. City view, square footage. Now, if somebody was very, very, very interested in finding an individual, you might not set any of these settings. If you've got a lot of time on your hands, you will go through every single house, look at photos and compare. And this is just one scary way that people can find you based on one picture or a couple pictures or a tiny little bit of information. And this is somebody like myself that has no interest in her channel or anything at all. Imagine somebody that is watching a YouTuber and wanting to stalk a YouTuber or something along those lines, or doesn't have to be a YouTuber. It can be anybody on social media or anything. So this is more to show you, think about what you post before you post it and think about the implications that it could have when you post it. Now with that out of the way, I'm going to show you the trick. So we save the search or we, we hit it, we narrow it down and I'm going to start scrolling down. When I'm doing this, I'm going through every single photo that I want to go through. I'm going to scroll to the house itself, which isn't going to take very long at all. Uh, we might have it on this page. We might have it on the next page. It'll be on page two. Okay. Page two, right? Here's the house. Let's take a look. So first of all, we'll scroll down. We'll ignore the outside for right now. And let's just go to the kitchen. Let's find the kitchen. Okay. Here's the kitchen. Look familiar. Look at these windows. Look at this. Look at the backdrop. Look at the windows. Look at the grill or the stove in the front. And you can see it's exactly the same kitchen. Now, one more picture. Remember that gorgeous view of the backdrop from Jacqueline's photo. Remember this right here? We saw some palm trees, but look at the chair. Look at this chair. Look at the backdrop here. Okay. We take a first look at this picture. Look at the chair. It's the same chair. Look at this chair. It's the same chair. Look at the backdrop. It's this backdrop. Okay. Now, if we clicked out and we just went a couple videos down, you can, there are a couple of pictures down. You can see from the bedroom, there's the palm tree, there's the chair, there's the backdrop, there's everything else just from a different view. So we are definitely in the right house. This is definitely a way that we have found this house from tiny bits of information. Really, we could have just got it off the kitchen, but every little bit of information that you post online helps somebody target your location a lot easier. So again, think about that when you post. Okay, and that is it for this video. So what did we learn for this? We learned that a little bit of detail goes a very long way, and we should always be cautious with what we post. Tiny little fragments of details can lead to a much bigger revelation. In this case, we didn't have to take much. We took information that we knew this person was in LA because she mentioned it, and we were able to know that she's wealthy because, well, she's famous. And we take those ideas and we put them together and we take one picture, one background of a kitchen and a little bit of research and we're able to find out where that person lives. So be cautious before you post. Somebody who is dedicated to finding you or really motivated in trying to hunt you down can use a picture, can use something from the background can take fragmented pieces of information and put them together and identify where you are at or where you're currently at. And that's a very scary thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is The Cyber Mentor. And as always, if you like the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, peace out.